Hey guys, so today we are going to be making flourless brownies, which I have made these before and they are good. So I'm starting with a quarter cup, a little bit more than a quarter cup of butter. I'm going to be melting that. I have already chopped eight ounces of semi-sweet chocolate, which will be going in there as well. Just want the butter to melt a little bit more before I put it in. My dry ingredients are all prepared as well. I sifted the unsweetened cocoa powder as well as the cornstarch in there. It is three tablespoons of cornstarch, one tablespoon of unsweetened cocoa powder. There's also, now it's time to let's turn this down to medium. I'm also putting in three quarter cups of sugar teaspoon and a half of vanilla, quarter teaspoon of salt, and a quarter teaspoon of baking pa uh, soda. Or sorry, baking powder. Okay, that'll be melted in a minute. I also have two eggs that are going in in a minute. But first we just want to cool the butter down so it doesn't cook the egg. Once our chocolate's all dissolved, we're going to be putting in our dry ingredients and then our eggs. This is a one pot recipe and it's all stove top. I have a pan lined with parchment paper set aside. And I'm doing, I believe it's a six by nine pan. So, now that our chocolate all dissolved. And add in our dry ingredients. Okay. Stir that in. sugar to start dissolving. I'm going to turn the stove off completely now. Make sure our oven is preheated. Look at that beautiful, beautiful batter. off the stove now and put our dirty things into the sink. So our two measuring cups and the one that we had our eggs in. So now that this is all good, we're going to grab our pan and we're going to carefully put our batter into our pan.
spread that out a little bit more. Make sure we get all of our sides. The corners. Spoon. Be careful, your batter may be hotter than mine is. You don't want to burn yourself. Okay. And now we'll stick it into our oven. We're going to be baking our brownies. For about 22 to 30 minutes, keep an eye on them. And then you have to let them cool for 45 minutes. So, here we go. And then when that they have cooled for 45 minutes, you can cut them up and put them on a tray with other desserts. But now it's time for the best part, trying it. So, I have a smaller piece right here. Let's see. Okay, let's try it. Mmm. They're still warm and they're really, really moist and really chocolatey. So, if you like this recipe, subscribe. And remember, there's more coming. So, I make Monday videos, Wednesday videos, and Friday videos. I will see you next week. Later, guys. Good so, what we said is all our icing. But I will do updates on them. Find me new series, talk forward.